Um, what I'm doing today is the electrics for the trailer. Um, I'm basically going to piggyback off the existing lights off the bike. So it's, it's actually a fairly simple job and I'll show you what I've done so far. This is the block that I'm using. It's a six point block. Basically three cables into either side. So basically three for the brake lights and the main lights and then three for the indicator units as is on the trailer. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've fed it through here and I'm going to basically, it's going to be sitting here behind the number plate. And then I've already put some connectors on there. So some female connectors. And I'm just sorting out the lights themselves. So what I've got is, that is left indicator. Oh, I've got a cut on my thumb. Oh, that's a nasty cut. I wonder where that's come from. Anyway, I've got left for the... Uh, Left I've got brown for the left indicator, I've got green for the right indicator, I've got all these black earths, that is definitely the rear tail light, and that is the brake light. So all I've got to do is put in these piggyback connectors there and uh, pop them in. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave off from the mainframe and actually go into the wires that go into the tail light. Then if you need to replace the tail light, you've just got to do it again, but you're not messing with the main electrics. You're just uh, dealing with ancillary electrics afterwards. Right, I've done piggyback on the tail light connector, and that's the earth. So effectively, it should still work. So on. That's the oil pump. But effectively, the light's still working, and we're connected, then we'll disconnect, the light goes off. You can't see it because there's bright sunlight behind you, but effectively, that is now working. So now turn off the electrics, and do the same for all of them, and double check it, and double check them as we go. So effectively, I'm going to put one here, one there, one just on one of these. I only need one on one of these, so it should be fine. And then I've got the two back here to do. So we'll do that then. Right. All of them are in place. All of them work. I've just double checked. I think you can see the lights on. Just double check the light. So we've got indicator working. Indicator working. Light on. And then brake light. So it's all working. So now... I've just got to connect these to all these and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them all up to give them a bit extra strength but also to stop them from connecting together as you should. Um, if you can get hold of some um, heat shrink or heat wrap then that will make a huge difference and make the job a hell of a lot easier. Anyway, next bit. Right, it's all a jumble at the moment, all needs sorting out um, but I seem to have some success. I'll just show you. There we go. Rear tail light is on. Indicator's working. So do the other indicator. Indicator's working. Yep. Stop. Indicator's working. Yep, that's right. Our brake lights. It's coming on. We have brake lights. So effectively, we're legal. So, uh, that's it. All I've got to do is tidy all that up. Uh, right, a little bit of electrical tape around them to stop them uh, from earthing incorrectly. But yeah, that's it. Job done. Wire goes into the front of the trailer. And that's it. There is something I'm going to do here, but at the moment I've cable tied it to the stay of the uh, of the uh, rear rack. But um, quite literally, that's the connector block. Comes out, goes back in. So fairly easy. Just got to put the number plate back on, and we're sorted. It's all hidden behind the number plate, and because I've looped it down here, it shouldn't be too much of a problem just need to bolt it back in so 
as you can see it sits neatly behind the number plate what I need to do is buy a little cap that goes on top of here so basically you can see the rubber cap that this is on I buy another one of those and then just fit it over the top and that stops water getting in as well right that's the job done um, not a lot left to do just the lid it is technically road legal um, it's got lights it's got a number plate the trailer hitch is currently drying at the moment so when I take it for a spin I'll show you that run um, as I say I've still got the lid to do but that's it for now I uh, hope it's been useful anyway goodbye YouTube